Wow. So this is the first time I've really, opportunity I've really had to do this since the, what I'm calling the era of unsolicited um, home renovation. Uh, because on September 30th, some freaking brain genius down the hall uh, hung his dry cleaning off of a fire sprinkler head and thus turning the hallway into a lake. And a good solid enough water got into my apartment to ruin the entire floor. Um, well, I mean, the fact that it, like half of it got ruined meant that all of it had to be replaced. And then, of course spent a lot of time waiting around for that and uh, since I'm renting I'm in, like the last person to know um, what is actually happening and so I'd wager like a solid two entire of the last like six weeks has been eaten up dealing with this in plus like a ton of effort in uh, just chasing down building managers to tell me when the hell stuff is going to happen so that's cute um, so I am like, and I'm of course like I have stepped on like every conceivable rake, uh, when it comes to getting an MVP of intertwingler shipped. And I think there's like one remaining rake that I have to deal with. Um, so, uh, I was thinking about this yesterday because like what I got and done what I have gone and done and actually maybe I will even uh, mess with this for a second and I'll even show you um, is so I did this sort of initial configuration thing why is that so slow Right, so it'll take you through the configuration process. It's got like tab completion and stuff on it because I'm awesome. And it also puts it in the last directory, which I thought was fun. So, Anyway, you get the idea. Anyway, that kind of generates a bootstrapping configuration file, and then from there you can start the engine. So the wrinkle is that I have moved in my infinite genius uh, all of the configuration or almost all of the rest of the configuration save for that like basic stuff about where to find the configuration into the RDF graph. And now the architecture for Intertwingler goes, there's the engine and the engine has a resolver And it's the resolver that has the graph, the RDF graph database. And each resolver is associated with an authority. Now, the issue that I've run into uh, is, well, the engine is the thing that also has the handlers. And it's also got the transformation cues. And then, of course, each one of these is a multiple. Um, and since the engine has its own configuration for stuff like handlers and cues, uh, the problem is, since the graph is connected down here and it's connected to the end of a resolver, and the resolver has to be associated with exactly one authority and, of course, exactly one graph. Uh, the idea was, or the problem is, is, you get into an ambiguity where the engine doesn't know which graph 
to look for the configuration of the handlers and the cues. And moving these into a resolver, it just forget about it. So what I determined that I would end up doing is to stick another thing in front of it that I'm going to call a harness. And all the harness, so the harness doesn't care about, like the harness will have multiple authorities. And an authority is just like a DNS name uh, or like it's a host name and a port if you really want to get technical. Um, so it just needs an authority and it needs a uh, graph database. And I made these like URN X Ruby um, locators or identifiers for these. And of course, you know, the graph can have uh, uh, multiple, uh, sorry, multiple resolvers can point to the same graph. It's not a problem. But then what we would end up doing is we would change this so that the engine is the thing that's associated with the authority. And then all you do is you pull the engines uh, for their respective authorities, or you rather you, yeah, you basically just find the, uh, you find the engine configuration, the handlers, the cues, all that kind of goodness. Um, the harness can also cache that stuff uh, in case you see multiples, which you're very likely to see. Uh, so that's kind of the plan is to have this, put this harness thing uh, in the front. And it's the thing that actually is going to get fired up. And then it will have multiple engines. So the engine, the resolver is only, there's only one now. And so that is the change that I'm going to make today. Hopefully that is the last rake to step on. And now I'm going to finish my coffee.